Well, welcome everybody to the anti-post discussion we're having for the upcoming general election race, which we're not sure when it's going to be, but we're in the process really of just introducing the, the, the field to the punters, just to get a bit of an idea just what they're going to be like on, a, on the day when they get down to the starting line. Now this chap here, he comes out of the county Tory stable there, and as you can see now in comparison to the big brown fellow, the big brown beastie, this one here, well he's a lot smaller, he doesn't quite have what you might call the presence about him. If we turn him around we'll see that the, the behind is just not at all as strong as the brown beast, you know, he's not got that big strong hind leg look about him. He, he's really quite dainty really. and. Um, I actually have with me his training jockey down there in the uh, the, the, the county Tory um, uh, the training training ground. Now, w w what would you say now yourself, Nigel, about this little fella? Do you, do you know now you're getting to know him a little better. Uh, have you got anything you, you could add to it? Well, not really. You know, to be honest with you, uh, he's he's a bright horse. You know, he's had a good education, very privately educated. But I really don't know what's in his head, and and I mean that in all due respect. I'm going to let him have a little gallop, gallop here. I'm not sure. You know, he, one morning he'll be kind of like he'll be saying to me, "Oh, you know, I really feel up for this. I feel good. I I, I just can't see where I can go wrong." And then the next day he doesn't open his mouth. You know, it's like he's another place far away or uh, it's very confusing uh, he, he's also qu quite a, a posh horse now I think we can see that it's, 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 turn him around you know you see not every horse will have that kind of healthy look about him he's well fed he, he comes from a very very uh, fine lineage of people but um the one thing that he was saying to me the, the, the other day when we were out in the gallops was he was saying he was having this recurring dream. Now it's not unusual, funny enough, for a horse to, to dream. It's, it's quite common and quite often they'll tell, they'll tell you about it out in the, when you're out there down there in the country and, and they're out. Now this is actually what, what his dream is. In fact, we can actually present it to you, which is very fortunate in these days we can do this. Now here he is. This is the picture in his dream, as, as you can see. It, it, it really is looking at a brown horse, a big brown horse that's won, won the event. And that really can get into his head and give him a lot of problems. Because if a horse starts thinking he can't win, then really he's on a loser. But also what's quite difficult was that, you know, as you can see there, I'm going to zoom in here, the hollow bottom. Now that is a bit of a bit of a concern because you really got to have a stern kind of um, behind about you when you're entering into the election race. You really have, and and this fella, he's all over the place to be honest.